and Vogue and Vogue, 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 Vogue. She's fine. It's mine. Hmm. Check me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lev, and I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna be filming a fall festive look with the new Audrey's Artistry, the AA Collection Fever Palette. And then I'll also be doing a quick review on the new Christian Dior foundation that dropped. All right guys, so I'm a little late, but the new AA Summer Collection dropped in August and I did get my PR package. I'm just a little late on filming this look. It is now October the 1st. I was like, it has some cute fall colors in it. So why not go ahead and create a cute fall look because I'm living, I can do what I wanna do. You do what you want when you pop in. So I'm going to be doing that instead of doing a summer look like I've seen a few other people do. So that's what we're going to do with the palette today. But I did want to show you everything else that I got in my PR package. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and show you all like the lippies and the other goodies that came in the package. The collection came with two eyeshadow palettes. So it also came with the Summer Nights palette as well. And if anyone has not been familiar with the AA collection, I did a review of it in like my previous video it was the valentine's day so that was about four videos ago if i'm not mistaken all of the products created are vegan friendly and cruelty free so they were not tested on animals and let me just show y'all the summer nights palette so it came in a really sleek matte packaging which i really really like and oh that's a little sleeve and it came with a mirror you know faith is amazing for always dropping a nice mirror in there for us to create our looks with this palette actually came with the names listed under the palette and you can even create some really really nice fall looks with it i think i'm actually going to do a separate video using this palette but it is super cute it has some nice warm and cool tones so we have a cute burgundy mauvey color a nice cool peachy tone of course she put some metallic shimmers in there as well and then also gave us some nice mattes in transition. So this is the Summer Nights palette. The collection also came with some luminous dew drops. And the dew drops, y'all, I'm a huge fan of dew drops. I love drops. They come in the little squeeze bottle with the little dropper. And so you can use these to intensify your foundation. You can use them by themselves. I'm making a mess. You can use them by yourselves or you can also mix it in with your foundation just to give you a more luminous look and i'll just swatch the drops as well i'm just going to put like a drop on the back of my hand and i'm going to swatch that here for you and these are the dew drops very pretty it's got a champagne rose gold to it and y'all know i love rose gold but very pretty and they can be worn alone as a highlight or like i said you can mix it in with your foundation and then there was also the melanin body glaze that came in the collection it was similar to the dew drops but this is more like if you wanted like an all over sheen and i'll just swatch that as well and you make sure you want to shake it up really well so shake it up really really good and then you just spray it and these are really good for the summertime again and this is just like if you want to give yourself an all over body glow and these are in a gold tone so that's the comparison between the dew drops and the body glaze very pretty and then also in the collection we received three new lippies and if y'all know brown sugar from the last collection was one of my favorites so these were even more bomb when i saw them originally but i just wanted to do the unboxing for y'all again on camera so in this collection we got summertime which is a metallic shimmer lip gloss and it has some reflex of rose gold pink green very pretty reflex and i'm going to swatch that on the back of my hand and it's like a chocolate brown y'all it smells so good it smells like vanilla and that is the swatch of the lip gloss summertime and it's also good for like a good um on top gloss if you wanted to do that and let's see what's next we have below 
Hmm. And below is a Fuchsia Hot Pink Shimmer Lip Gloss. Also good for a topper or it can be standalone, whichever you prefer. And we're just going to swatch that right up under summertime. And that is the pink gloss. I think my light is a little bright for it. But it's a really cute pink topper gloss. And last one, we have Hot Girl, because you know it was the Hot Girl Summer, thanks to Meg. And Hot Girl is a very pretty orange matte gloss, liquid lip, and it swatches. I'm going to just swatch that there. Very pretty orangey brick matte lipstick. So for time purposes, I did go ahead and do my brows prom and moisturized off camera. I use the Clinique. I'm dramatically different moisturizing gel as always for my moisturizer. It is one of the only moisturizers that I use that does not make my face oily. I am combination skin, so I do love using this moisturizer. Something that's usually like a water base. And I did also use the NARS Pore and Shine primer to prime my face and I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in Chocolate to um, do my brows. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'll be using my Fever Palette from the AA Collection to create my look today. I think I'm going to do a nice warm brown fall look. And here is a look. I know that metallic is kind of shining against my camera but it's okay in my ring light um, but very very pretty palette of course as you can see it is giving us very summer vibes but you can also create some really pretty fall looks with this palette as well especially with this nice mossy green here the um, warm purple and then of course the golds and the oranges i'm seeing all fall looks up here and of course with these cute shimmers so i think i'm going to create a look with the brown here up top. So first I'm going to just go in with one of my blending brushes and I'm going to start off with that brown color but first I'm going to just prime my eyelids with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and that's in the shade Macadamia. So I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid and blend it out. Okay so I'm going to start off in the palette with that warm brown shade at the top and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade and I'm just going to blend that along my outer corner. So I'm really glad that y'all like the My Boyfriend Does My Makeup Challenge y'all. I was so nervous about that video but JG and I really had a fun time filming it. We probably are going to like do maybe like another video like that maybe soon maybe not like another makeup video but maybe like a mukbang or something like that because we got a lot of good feedback off that video i was so scared i was like oh my gosh i do not know how people are going to react to it but that was like one of my videos that got like the most views and like popularity in such a short amount of time so i'm glad y'all enjoyed it so y'all i've been like trying to find a way to not have my videos be 30 minutes long like i know sometimes like you want to see that but i've been kind of trying to keep my videos maybe like at like 15 20 minutes max so i'm gonna be you know skipping some steps but that's just because i've already shown it in like previous videos and i just don't feel like i need to like redo it all over again it's just like with my brows like i really don't want to constantly do my brows on camera all the time when I already know that's something I've done in a video but I think I might do like a small brow tutorial video let me know if y'all want to see that like drop it in the comments if y'all want to see me do like a brow tutorial with just brows alone I don't even I may do like a small subtle eyeshadow but just something um to where I don't have to like keep doing my brows on camera constantly because it gets really aggravating for me and it's using up like a lot of my camera time like I tried to film this look in like two hours and I already feel not really because I didn't start on time I'm probably like really 30 minutes into it which is not bad so yeah let me know if y'all want to see a 
little brow tutorial just because this palette did not come with a black eyeshadow or a really really dark color because that's green so that's going to show up like kind of mm, shimmery it's like a shimmer matte almost it's not super matte but it's got some reflex in it i'm going to dip into one of my palettes that has a black color in it i'm gonna go in with my kkw palette just because that has a really really dark brown i'm trying to go for like a rustic fall look so i'm just gonna dab into my kkw mario palette to deepen up my corner to kind of give myself a little smoky eye here before we go in with our mustard yellow and i'm just packing that color on right there in the outer corner if you can see let me zoom in a little bit for y'all wow your girl is in 4k honey yes yes so i'm just gonna dip into that and y'all kind of got my mirror set up right here so that's why i'm kind of looking away from the camera just packing that color on that brown on before i blend it out and i'm going to take another one of my Blending brushes, I'm going to get my Morphe M330 brush and I'm just going to soften up that brown and blend it out. And Vogue, and Vogue, 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 she's fine. That's mine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so now that I have my browns blended out where I want them, I am going to take, and I think I'm actually going to go in again with my lighter brown shade and just kind of soften up around the edges a little bit just around the top i just want to soften it just a little bit right into that crease So I'm going to next go in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base because I definitely want that yellow color to pop. It's already a super bright, but I want to get the highest payoff of that yellow color. So I'm going to just base my lid with a little P. Louise just to make the color pop even more, okay? I'm just going to carve out my eye lid with that P. Louise. And I'm just placing that all over my lid. And y'all, this look is going to be kind of different because I typically don't do matte shades on my lid. But I wanted to try something different today. So it's kind of going to be an all matte look. And I just want to give Kat a shout out. Kat, this is for you, okay? I'm doing it in slow-mo so you can see everything I'm doing. Get your brushes, get your primer, get your eyeshadow because this is going to be the video where you get it. You're going to learn how to do your eyeshadow. I'm telling you, it's not hard at all. So I can start packing on that color on my lid. Wow. Y'all, I already see where this is about to go. The AA Collection... It never fails. Um, if you all have seen any of face that sis, I'm gonna have to call you when I finish this video. You already know Faith comes with that heat when she's doing these colors. First of all, this is a pressed matte powder, and when I tell you she's not patchy, like because sis came to clock in we're gonna call her sunflower we're gonna drop this mustard yellow and she's gonna be sunflower because sis came to clock in yeah let me finish let me finish because i'm getting distracted oh my god this is beautiful if she was not filming her video right now i would call her i would call her right now i'm shook I'm shook. My ear just already snatched back. But baby, I need to grab the rest of my wig because Faith has done it. Yes, ma'am. Going back around. Blending out any 
harsh edges that we may have. I mean, she just came to clock in for the girls and said, I'm here, honey, and I'm here to stay for the fall. Yes. Boom. 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 Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and get started with my foundation. So I will be reviewing the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation today. And here is the packaging. It came in this really cute a matte bottle with silver writing and a cute silver cap for it. And the foundation, you get 1.6 fluid ounces for $40 and that is on sephora.com and you actually get 0.6 more of an ounce than you do in the NARS sheer glow foundation you get one fluid ounce in that and it actually retails for $47 so you're looking at about after tax almost a $10 price difference between the Dior foundation and the NARS sheer glow and I did get this foundation in the shade 4W the tube that it comes in is a little different than um, what I'm used to I typically use a foundation that has a pump on it but it is okay that's just gonna let me know to be a little careful now the foundation it is supposed to be a medium coverage but it says that it is good for normal dry combination and oily skin types so all skin types and it does have a matte finish to it um, like I said this is my first time trying the foundation so I'm getting a first impression of it just like you are I literally only swatched it in the store when I purchased it and like I said I got it a few months ago probably back in like May if I'm not mistaken April when it first came out and I'm just going in with my Sephora Pro Diffuser brush in number 64 to blend it out so from what I'm showing so far it definitely is a medium coverage and I mean y'all it has a really good smell to it like almost like perfume I know some people don't like that um, scent in their foundations but I'm honestly like not mad at it. it smells really fresh so it definitely is a medium coverage foundation it looks like it is buildable from just first reaction I would say more sheer to medium versus medium to full coverage yeah because i can definitely like still see like some of my acne scars and a little hyperpigmentation so if you're looking for like a medium coverage and i mean truly medium coverage you may actually like this foundation like my sheer glow in nars is like medium foundation medium coverage so they say but it's like medium buildable but i'm just gonna go in with this one more time for a little more coverage and i'm just gonna blend this side out first pull my hair back okay so a second pump definitely gave me more of the coverage that i liked in my foundation i'm typically like a full coverage type of girl just because i have some hyperpigmentation like i said acne scars that i like to clear up I'm not really one to go for sheer foundations just because I need that extra coverage. If I'm going to pay $40, $37, $35 for a foundation, I'm going to need some coverage. Like sheer does nothing for me and I need to be able to cover up this stuff that I don't want to see. And I like the price point of the foundation as well because you're getting more for your money than what you do in most foundations because typically retail depends on what you're getting more high end you're definitely going to be paying at least 35 more than 35 42 43 dollars for at least an ounce of foundation and i feel like for this one for you to be getting 1.6 ounces for 40 dollars that's a great price point Especially for high end, especially for Dior, like that's super high end. So I like the coverage so far, and this is what I have. Very pretty. It's almost like skin, pretty much. And I like the overall wear right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the shade m27 warm and i'm just gonna highlight under my eye 
and my chin and my forehead area here and because this is a foundation review I'm not gonna spend too much time on highlighting and contouring so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out off camera and also go ahead and do my contour off camera so I'll be right back okay so now that I've wiped all of my excess powder off and I've bronzed really good so I'm just going back in and just adding a little warmth to my forehead and down my cheek just so that I'm not too bright and boom next I'm going to go in with some highlighter and I'm actually going to use my highlighter drops that I got from the AA collection so it is a champagne color and I'm just going to shake those up really well and I'm just going to drop some of my highlighter dew drops on the back of my hand dab into them with my highlighter brush and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbone there not too much just to give myself a nice glow here and I think I actually want to mix a little of that melanin glaze in with it why not because you can use it as highlighter too I can cheat I can do that it's my video I can do what I want to do and yes oh yes I like that kind of intensified the highlight all right so we've added our highlighter drops and I'm really loving this look so far so next I'm going to add a little blush to my cheeks and I'm going to use of course one of my favorite blushes <laughs> if I can find it hmm y'all we have a blush snapper oh false alarm I found it so I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush in peachy love and let me get my blush brush i'm just gonna swirl those three colors together and dust off the excess and just add a little blush to my cheeks boom dust off the excess and add a little to my cheeks and i went a little overboard with the blush today but it's okay we're gonna tone it down a little bit and boom setting spray i'm gonna set with the it's in a smashbox spray bottle because i like how the mixture came out but it's my cat Von D lock and setting spray don't judge me judge mama i don't care and i'm just going to just spray my face Ooh. i need to get some more setting spray i went ahead and applied my lashes off camera and i did go ahead and add some bottom mascara next i'm going to line my lips with the bff number three pencil from ColourPop, and i'm going to apply my lip so BFF number three is just a brown liner and we're just lining our lips here. I'm going to use the liquid lipstick that came in the collection which was hot girl hot girl summer and i'm going to go on top of that i 
all right guys so here is the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video still give me a thumbs up because guess what you're going to keep coming back if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my video hit that subscribe button down below don't be a part of that 43 percent that keeps coming back and watching my video that won't subscribe y'all go ahead and join the family i know you want to anyway if you haven't already but clearly it needs no explanation if you have not picked up the fever palette cop it now it is on the aa collection website and it is retailing for 26 dollars and 90 cents um the lip glosses are also retailing for 18 dollars if i'm not mistaken i did not see it on the site but i'm going to double check um and i'm going to drop that below the summer nights palette it is retailing for 18 dollars and 90 cents and the melanin body glaze is going for 23.90 y'all these prices are still for the amount of product that you're getting and the quality product that you're getting it is amazing i don't even have to over hype say anything nothing y'all know i love the AA collection i will always love the AA collection and it is brown girl friendly let me know what you think in the comment section down below i had a whole lot of fun filming this festive fall look is very bold and pretty and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye guys